utility of three-dimensional rotation around geography road mapping flow diagrammetry deployment in a distal dissecting middle cerebral artery aneurysm. A 33 years old male presented with left facial paresis, a left dissecting fusiform anterior temporal artery aneurysm was discovered on CTA. Options included surgery with aneurysm excision and vessel reconstruction, or aneurysm tracking and revascularization, or endovascular treatment with flow diverter deployment. After discussion with patients, endovascular treatment was chosen. The technical issues of endovascular treatment included the distal location, proximal stenosis, dissecting nature with double and false lumen, and the vessel curves. After double anti-aggregation, blood assays showed complete arachidonic acid, ADP, and collagen inhibition. Basal rotational 3D DSA confirmed the aneurysm characteristics, distal fusiform dissecting with no branches coming out of the aneurysm. The invoice 6 French catheter was positioned in internal carotid artery. A 3D angiogram road map allowed a better vessel visualization for a safer navigation to the distal temporal artery. A sign cross 0.014 micro guide and a head away 17 micro catheter were used. Contrast injection after catheter positioning. A baby silk flow diverter 2.75 per 20 was positioned to cover also the proximal stenosis. Final rotational 3D DSA showed that the stent was patient, the vessels were patient, the stenosis was covered and appeared larger, and there was slower flow on the aneurysm sac. The procedure was uneventful. The paresis recovered, the facial paresis recovered after cortisonic therapy.